Welcome to this demonstration on how the vSphere Storage Appliance version 5.1 is resilient to host failures, and how a full set of NFS exports continues to be presented when one of the VSA cluster members goes down. In this demonstration, we have a three-node VSA cluster, and each appliance has a primary and replica data store. The maps view here shows the relationship between all the objects in the cluster. We start by taking a look at the virtual machines running on the host TS03-H380-14. As we can see, this ESXi host only has the appliance VSA2 running and has no production virtual machines on it at this time. Moving back to the appliances view, we can see that the data store VSADS1 is presented from the appliance VSA2, which is running on ESXi host 14. Next, we check which virtual machines are using the data store VSADS1. As we can see, WinXP2 is using that data store. Before moving ahead, we must ensure that something is running on the console of that virtual machine. Here, we can see that the Windows Performance Monitor, Perfmon, is running on it. Now, we will induce a failure on one of our ESXi hosts. In this case, we will cause a failure on ESXi host 14 by using a VSI command shown in the PuTTY window above. After running that command and bringing down the host, we now examine the impact this has had on our VSA cluster. The first thing that we notice is that the appliance VSA2, which was running on the host 14, has gone offline. We may recall that VSA2 is responsible for data store VSA DS1 on which the virtual machine WinXP2 is running. Next, we check the data stores view that shows that two data stores are showing up in a degraded state. This is because a single appliance will impact both a primary mirror on one data store and a replica mirror on another data store. But the point is that both data stores remain online. Now, if we take a look at the appliances view, we notice that VSA2 is offline and the appliance VSA1 is now exporting two data stores, VSA DS0 and VSA DS1. If we check back on the virtual machine WinXP2, we can see that it continues to run on data store VSA DS1. But now, VSA DS1 is being exported from appliance VSA1 and not VSA2, which is offline. If we look at the console of WinXP2, we see that it is still running Perfmon. Now, if we look at the ESXi host, we can see here that vSphere HA has detected a host failure, and it will eventually disconnect from vCenter. If we look at the alarms, we can see alerts related to vSphere HA host status and the host connection and power state. The summary tab indicates that HA has detected a possible host failure. And throughout all of this, our virtual machine WinXP2 continues to run. It hasn't been affected by the failure of the ESXi host or VSA appliance. This completes our demonstration. Thank you.